everyone and welcome back to my channel. I recently went to Sweden and today I thought I would do a stationary haul to show you what I got while I was there. I'll be showing you what I bought as well as giving you an honest review and showing swatches where that's possible so that it might help you consider which stationery to buy yourself. I was so excited to visit Muji while I was in Sweden because we don't have it where I live. So most of the things in this haul are from Muji and I also have a couple of things from other stores that I'll show you at the end. The first thing I got from Muji was this six pack of 0.5 gel pens. I originally wanted to get the 0.38 ones but they only had the 0.5 in store, so I got those instead. The ink is a little runny, but other than that, they write very smoothly, and I am super happy with that purchase. Next, I got the 12 pack of color gel pens, also in 0.5. They are the same type as the black ones, so the ink quality is mostly the same. But even though the ink is a bit runny, none of the pens bleed through the paper. And the colors of these pens are so vibrant and pretty. So I would really recommend these as well. Next, I just got this eraser and I wasn't quite happy with it. It is very soft and it just doesn't get everything away that good so i maybe wouldn't recommend it but at least it was very cheap then i just got a 15 centimeter ruler because i needed a small one that could fit in my pencil case next i got this to-do list it is very minimal so that's great though i wish that the back were sticky so I could stick them in my planner or bullet journal but I like them anyway and I'm probably gonna use these a lot then I got these b5 sized lined notebooks and I actually got three packs of these because the paper quality really surprised me it has to be the smoothest paper that I've ever tried out. It is so easy to write on. I've already tried it for some chemistry notes and it's just amazing. It has six millimeter spacing while most other notebooks have eight or nine millimeters. So it is perfect for writing on if you have small handwriting like me. These notebooks are by far my favorite purchase so I am so glad that I got a lot of these. Then I got the iconic Muji pencil case and I had planned to get the one with the eraser compartment up here but they didn't have it so I got this one instead. It's just very minimal and small so it's perfect if you just want to bring a couple of supplies to for example an exam. Um, the only thing that I didn't like was that it is kind of short, so a lot of pens don't actually fit. But it obviously fits the Muji pens as well as other shorter pens and markers. And finally for Muji, I got the acrylic box with drawers. Like the pencil case, it's also kind of short. But you could either store your shorter pens in there or you could just remove the drawers and turn the box around so that you can have pens of all lengths standing in there. Um, I just think it's very practical to have if you have a lot of stationery that needs to be organized. I got a few things from other stores as well. And first I got this 8-pack of erasable Uniball signal pens from the store Panduro. I'd been really excited to try these out, but they ended up being the thing that disappointed me the most. The colors are very weak and they don't go fully away when you erase them, 
So if you're looking for erasable pens, you might want to consider other brands, but I'll probably still use them as they can be useful for drawing diagrams on my notes. Then finally, I got two things from the regular office supplies section of Oleans, which aren't exactly stationary, but we'll go with it. Um, the first thing is this super pretty bookmark from Peter Popper Press. It says, shoot for the moon, even if you miss it, you will land among the stars. And I really like it and the quality of it seems to be really good as well. And it's also super pretty. And finally, just as I was about to pay for my things, I found these stickers. They are just the normal type that you can have on your school books for writing name and class on them. And I just find them really practical to have around. So that is it for my haul. I hope that you liked it and that it gave you some tips if you are considering buying any of these items yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week with another video.